everyone. Around 70% of customers visit your store every day, but do not complete the order. Now this is what leads to abandoned carts. Want to know how you can convert these abandoned carts into sales? Well, need not worry because in this video, I am going to show you how you can recover abandoned cards for your WooCommerce store. Hi, I am Aparna Singh from LearnWoo and let's get started. Well, in this particular video, we will be using the LX Abandoned Cards Recovery Plugin. With the help of this plugin, you can send a scheduled emails to customers who have left products in the card without finishing the purchase. Now let's start with the installation of this plugin and all the other features it offers that enable you to recover abandoned cards. For installation, you have to first purchase the plugin. Click the link mentioned in the description to purchase the plugin. To install the plugin, go to your WordPress dashboard, Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin. Now upload the zip file from your device that you have purchased. Once the installation is complete, we need to activate the plugin. Now click the Activate button that has appeared. Now let's start setting up the plugin. Let's start with first the general setting. Go to WordPress dashboard, LX Abandoned Card Recovery Plugin and Settings. First, set Abandoned Card to be expired. Here I have set it up for 10 days. Ensure that on this page, include guest users to recover their Abandoned Card is on so that when there are guest users or unregistered customers on the store, you can send them card recovery emails as well. Now in the email to receive notification, enter the email ID in which you want to be notified about the recovery of the abandoned card. Now all the other details on this page should be similar to what you see here on screen. Now configure the GDPR message. Enable both show on stop page and show on product page and enter the message on the box below. This applies only if you are running your store in the EU region. If not, skip this part. And after filling all the necessary details, click save changes. Next, let's configure the email settings. Now this setting has three sections in it. Let's first start with email templates because it will be used in the other sections of the email settings. For email templates, go to the plugin, setting, email setting and email templates. Now click add new template, enter the template name first. This will help you to later identify the template. Like here, I have entered first notification of items is still in cart. Now enter the email header. Here I have entered online store, enter email subject, here I have entered you have left something unattended. Now in the coupon section you get two options, you can either select from WooCommerce coupons or you can create a dynamic coupon. Well in the dynamic coupon option the coupon will be generated dynamically while the abandoned cart email is being sent with a prefix of your choice to the coupon code. Now you may also choose whether you want to give an amount as a discount or a discount percentage. Once done, ensure to keep customer's email ID and products in the abandoned cart in the associate the dynamic coupon to box. You can click on the text to go into text mode. Here you can paste your HTML code for the email template. Once you do this, click on the visual tab to preview the template. Here you can also copy the template from the other existing templates. You'll get an option in the copy from template drop down. Adding to that, you can also turn on the upload email template option from here and upload a HTML email template file. But here I'm selecting the default email template since it provides all the information that I want my customer to receive. And after entering all the details, click save template. Similarly, you can add more email templates by clicking add new template. Now let's go to email rules. 
In the next step, let's set up email rules. Go to email rules, add new rule, enter the rule name, select the condition you want, that is and or. Next, select the basis. Here I'm selecting number of items. Now select greater than or equal to. In the number of items, select two. This means the customer will receive email only after two or more items are abandoned in the cart. Now click the plus button to add another condition. In the based on box, select the user role. Since I want only my customers to receive the email and not the site administrator or store manager. In the applicable equation, select include and then select all the users that you want the abandoned cart email to be sent to. Once done, click add rule and after the rule is added, ensure the status is on. And now let's add an email trigger. For that, select add email trigger, select the template name, email rule and enter the time you want to send the email after abandoning of cart. Once all the necessary details are filled, click save changes. Now in the next step, let's abandon a cart and see how it works. Go to the store, add a product to the cart and leave it there. If you go to the dashboard, you can see the insights of the abandoned cart. Total abandoned amount, total amount recovered and conversion rate is displayed here. Once an automated triggered email is received by the customer, we'll be able to see the log in the email logs tab. And the log section looks something like this. And this is how the email received by the customer looks like. After the customer receives the email, there will be few customers who will place the order and few who will not. The orders that will be successfully placed through this email will come under the recovered cart. Let me show you how it looks after recovery. Here let's place an order using the abandoned cart mail that the customer received. Once the order is placed, let's go to LX Abandoned Card Recovery Plugin. Now here you can see that the plugins give you all the insight of the abandoned card. And once the amount is recovered, you will receive a mail which looks something like this. And that's all. From this video, you can see that it is easy to recover abandoned cards with the help of LX Abandoned Card Recovery Plugin. It is simple to set up and useful for your WooCommerce store to boost sales by helping to recover abandoned cards. If you like this video, do give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next one.